This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by PortCityCoin.com This upload is part of a series. With permission, Dave Ridley is converting Crypto Insider articles to audio files about 20 minutes long. This can help you learn about the alternate currency world while you are eating or driving. Tim Draper as a catalyst for hyper-Bitcoinization posted by Daniel Dalton Vertical Line November 2, 2017. Hyper-Bitcoinization is an event where Bitcoin's value increases exponentially over a short period of time whilst fiat currencies devalue in relation. Venture capitalist and relatively early Bitcoin investor Tim Draper is a figure from the mainstream financial world and simultaneously a publicly outspoken Bitcoin evangelist. This makes him a figurehead followed by mainstream demographics, thus catalyzing an incoming hyper Bitcoinization event, or point of critical mass. We'll go into more detail on this further down the page. Outside of founding VC firm Draper Associates and Draper University, Tim Draper is well known for purchasing a large sum of seized bitcoins following the Silk Road indictment and shut down in 2014. He's also going to be a speaker at the Bitcoin, Ethereum and Blockchain Super Conference. You can read about that at the end of this piece. Hyper-Bitcoinization through mainstream adoption An earlier piece I wrote titled Is Bitcoin Reaching Critical Mass touched on two important factors playing into a potential hyper-Bitcoinization event. Greatly increased media coverage on Bitcoin. Both regulatory directives or positive news alt news is good news. Institutional investment such as EDFs spurred on and validated for mainstream demographics by super high net worth HNW individuals indeed. An astute observer in the Bitcoin space would notice that daily volatility on Bitcoin's price is decreasing as volume traded and market cap increases. View image on Twitter View image on Twitter Tour Demister at Tour Demister as liquidity increases, Bitcoin's daily volatility drops. Chart by at C. Bernisco. 8.38 a.m. October 22, 2017. 17.17 17, 17 replies 1 for 4 1 4 4 retweets 3 1 8 3 1 8 likes Twitter ads info and privacy tour Demister is possibly the epitome of an astute observer in the Bitcoin space. This is significant when we see that a drop in daily volatility over the past year is also coupled with a steadily increasing price point that is setting new all-time highs ADHs. In fact, at the time of publishing, Bitcoin is currently at an all-time high after breaking the $7,000 barrier, only having done so with $6,000 recently. The observations made here and in the previous piece on the potential of hyper-Bitcoinization is more relevant than ever. Draper on Bitcoin it's transforming finance in a recent interview with Bloomberg, Draper, done in a Bitcoin type, stated that he was incredibly bullish on Bitcoin and crypto. Bitcoin and crypto is transforming finance, and it's one of these tsunamis of opportunities for entrepreneurs and venture capital. So I'm very optimistic. I'm excited about what we've got going both in the private markets and the public markets. His actions in light of the Silk Road indictment have shown he's held this viewpoint since 2014. 
Draper was then prompted to respond to claims made by Bank of Canada's David McKay concerns over Bitcoin's stability as well as Jamie Mint's well-publicized but poorly defended perception of Bitcoin as a fraud. This is where Draper's force as a catalyst for Bitcoin's growth is most effective. He is a known figurehead congruent enough of Bitcoin's merits to counteract uninformed accusations of fraud from other institutional figures. His exact response transcribed was, I think Lehman and McKay have a vested interest in making sure these cryptocurrencies don't spread. If you ask me five years from now what I think this is gonna look like, I think people are gonna laugh if you try to use fi at currency at Starbucks. I think cryptocurrencies are much more transportable, much easier to use, the better store of value. And all of these companies that are starting are transforming society. This is the most exciting thing that's happened in my world, even more exciting than the internet was. He goes on to represent an educated and knowledgeable world view on the relationship between regulation and Bitcoin. Governments who attempt to stop Bitcoin in its tracks and crush cryptocurrencies to use Lehman's phrasing will be the ones who ultimately lose out. He supports this statement. The best governments are going to open it up. Japan said Bitcoin is a currency we accept here, that made Japan a very important country in this new technology. Crypto Insider also recently covered Draper's talk at BlockCon, the headline being 10 Rules of Crypto. To cure some key points, Draper first remarks about the importance of skin in the game. Rule 2 by some Bitcoin. Why? Sorry, it drives me nuts when someone is pitching me about Bitcoin and they don't own any reasons Draper. He then adds a bit of humor to the talk by making a slight dig on contentious forks in the Bitcoin community. Rule 5. Argue about how forking is a good idea. Rule 6 argue about how forking is a bad idea. The key, onboarding mainstream demographics in summary, on top of being an insightful and entertaining speaker, Tim Draper and figures like him catalyze the likelihood of a hyper-Bacoinization event by bringing on board formerly uninformed mainstream demographics. Skeptics feel that Bitcoin cannot continue growing at current rates, let alone at the exponentially increasing rates a hyper-Bitcoinization event would warrant. However, data scientist and fund Straighty co-founder Tom Lee states that only 300,000 people in the world hold over $5,000 USD of Bitcoin. This figure has been touted all over social media for the past month, but it was important to know that according to personal research, the data backing this statement is not publicly available and thus not verifiable. However, the sentiment is the same. We are still in very early days with infinitesimal amounts of mainstream adoption and institutional investment. Alongside Draper, other institutional figureheads are coming out of the woodwork in support of Bitcoin, with PayPal founder Peter Thiel stating that people are underestimating the great potential of Bitcoin. My personal belief in light of this is that we are very, very far from any hypothetical bubble situation. Bitcoin Super Conference Tim Draper will be a speaker at the Bitcoin. Ethereum and Blockchain Super Conference taking place from February 16th to 18th in Dallas, Texas. The conference has secured as many as 45 other headline speakers alongside Draper.
including Eric Voorhees of cryptocurrency broker Shapeshift and Charlie Shrem of multi-asset wallet Jack Sir. If you want to get more context, you can read Crypto Insider's previous coverage on the conference here. Early adopter rates has been extended to November 5th, and you can get an additional 10% discount on ticket pricing by using the discount code CRINSIDE42. If you're interested, you can reserve your spot right here. Featured image from Banker Blog Disclaimer Crypto Insider is a media partner with the Bitcoin, Ethereum and Blockchain Super Conference. About the author Daniel Dalton. Daniel is a well-oiled robot that believes in the power of blockchain technologies. Likes decentralization, hogdowling and bips. Dislikes red tape, corporate stuff phoenix and oxidation. Next Crypto Insider article follows. Daily Roundup. November 2, 2017 Posted by Kyle Torpy Vertical Line November 2, 2017 According to CNBC, the Bitcoin price has smashed past the $7,000 level for the first time. The Bitcoin price has risen substantially since CME Group said it would introduce Bitcoin futures contracts on Tuesday. According to Bloomberg, Coinbase recently added 100,000 new users in a 24-hour period. According to Bloomberg, Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein has said people should not dismiss Bitcoin. According to CNBC, the availability of Bitcoin futures may pave the way for a Bitcoin ETF. Past ETFs apparently stalled because the Bitcoin futures they wanted to track don't exist yet. According to Bloomberg, Argentina's biggest futures market plans to get into Bitcoin. About the author Kyle Torpe Kyle Torpe is a freelance writer and researcher who has been following Bitcoin since 2011. His work has been featured in Vice Motherboard, Business Insider, NASDAQ, New York Post, The Next Web, American Banker, and other media outlets. You can follow Kyle on Twitter. Send him an email. Sign up for his daily Bitcoin newsletter. Or visit his personal website. Next Crypto Insider article follows. Atomic swaps, decentralized exchanges, and a look into altcoin.io posted by Dylan Daddy Vertical Line November 3, 2017 Atomic Swaps decentralized exchanges, and a look into altcoin.io on October 11, 2017, altcoin.io formerly known as the altcoin exchange successfully traded 0.12345 bitcoin for 0.12345 ethereum using an atomic swap from their wallet. Although there have been a few successful atomic swaps in the past, they have only been produced through Litecoin, Decrease, Vilecoin and Vertcoin. Being that Bitcoin and Ethereum are the two heaviest traded coins on the market, Altcoin.io is showing that their decentralized exchange has what it takes to upset the entire exchange market. Atomic swaps Atomic swaps will change everything. Their concept, in the future, will take down giants like Bittrex, Coinbase, and eventually marketplaces like eBay will have no way to stand against it. Atomic swaps take out all of the middle that centralized exchanges charge you for. Let's say I want to give an apple to Norma, for her orange. In a centralized exchange, we would both give our fruits to a middleman to hold onto until he slash she receives both, and then we'll safely exchange our fruits for us for a fee. In an atomic swap, 
You can't think of that middleman as a floating mathematical algorithm that has the ability to reach out about switch both fruits simultaneously. So that the next time I reach into my pocket I find an orange there. It's kind of like a smart contract, where X can be released when A and B are met. In fact, it is a smart contract. The first atomic swap set up by Charlie Lee was scripted using script with a smart contract. Decentralized exchanges and atomic swaps Atomic swaps are a decentralized exchange's best friend. P2P has many solutions but the hardest has been trust. Think about Craigslist. The hardest part about Craigslist is trusting that you will get what was agreed upon. The idea of an atomic swap in a decentralized exchange is to instantaneously swap the coins involved in the trade. Does this sound familiar? You may be thinking of Shapeshift. Shapeshift does exactly this, except for one thing. Shapeshift charges fees for being the middleman. If you've used Shapeshift before, You'll understand how frustrating it is to see how much you end up paying for this service. Shapeshift is a decentralized concept, and they should have known from the start that centralized concepts don't last very long in a decentralized world. Altcoin.io While there are multiple decentralized exchanges out there, Altcoin.io is the first to swap from the Ethereum blockchain to the Bitcoin blockchain. It shows that they are serious about getting atomic swaps to become a universal thing around all coins. Atomic swaps are very complex to script, which is why atomic swaps cannot be made throughout all coins. But many coins are updating their blockchains to become more atomic swap friendly. The interface for trading on Altcoin.io is sound, including many familiar features with some easy add-ons, like being able to customize the look of the exchange. The wallet isn't completely out yet, but, but you can get a sneak peek here. Centralized exchanges are well on their way out. The only reason we find ourselves even using them is because we have grown up in a centralized world. We are used to having someone else control our money, and we forget that this means we can lose it as well. Swapping directly from wallet to wallet leaves no room for hackers to take now it's up to the security of the wallet to hold up, which we are still waiting to hear about for altcoin.io. If it's at all up to standards of wallets like Exodus and Jaxer, you will probably be more likely to lose your password forever than get hacked. It's exciting to think that we are coming back to a time where we will have total control of our own assets. We have the technology now to back it up so that we can learn to trust ourselves to handle our money. Altcoin.io is just one example of what's to come in 2018 exchange platforms. Next Crypto Insider article follows. Daily Roundup. November 3rd, 2017 Posted by Kyle Torpy Vertical Line November 4th, 2017 Daily Roundup. November 3, 2017 According to Reuters, the market cap of all cryptocurrencies combined has hit a record of $200 million, which puts their value at more than that of U.S. Bank City Group. According to the Economic Times, the government panel is seeking a crackdown on cryptocurrency dealers in India. According to CNBC, the first major Wall Street strategist to embrace Bitcoin is now feeling more cautious about the digital asset. Fundstrady co-founder Tom Lee now says that Bitcoin has gained far more than the fundamentals warrant right now. 
According to Bloomberg, Bitcoin's latest rally has forced an ultra-bullish analyst to revise his target even higher. Standpoint Research's Ronnie Moes now says the Bitcoin price will reach $11,000 in 2018. According to the Washington Post, the fight against opioid abuse is happening at the post office because dealers are ordering fentanyl from outside of the country via the Internet. Rare coins, pawns, gold and silver bullion. Check out Port City Coin in Portsmouth, New Hampshire for your precious metal needs. A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, happy to do a cash transaction. Why buy your metals from one of those slave state mints when you can support the free state economy? Visit PortCityCoin.com, or as I like to call it, PortCityCoin.com.